Hi everyone, Jennifer Kumar here. I'd like to share some experiences about going on the Wind Cave Tunnel Trail in Logan, Utah. We went on January 13th, 2018, and I'm making this video a day later. Some of the trail stats are 4.4 miles round trip, 2.2 up and 2.2 down. It took us around three hours. I'm a little bit slower uh, than other people, so it was around an hour and 40 minutes up, 20 minutes in the cave hanging out, and about an hour coming down. The elevation gain is tricky because uh, we use two different apps, All Trails and Endomondo, and both different readings on this. And I don't know which one said which, but one said 1280 and the other said 1172. So it's, you do get quite a lot of elevation gain on this trail, but if you are familiar with any trails in Salt Lake City, like Ensign Peak or Rattlesnake Gulch, I find those actually to be tougher because the grades of incline are steeper and the switchbacks are shorter. This had longer switchbacks with a very gradual incline. So although it, you know, I obviously took breaks on the way up to have water or catch my breath a little bit because I'm slow or have a snack, um, I found it to be quite enjoyable and fun and easy actually so I'm really happy with this trail and I think you would be too and if you're new to hiking and new to going up elevations and stuff this is probably a good one for you um, if you are a person who really likes to be in the nature without any modern noises around you you might get a little irritated on this trail because um, it, the trail kind of goes zigzags up the side of the mountain um, in a canyon. So in the base of the canyon is a road, which is quite busy. Just as this trail does get quite a lot of traffic too. We saw about five or six couples going up and down or five or six hiking parties going up and down when we were going up and down it. So you do hear echoes from the road pretty much all, almost all the way up to the top of the trail in some cases. So again, if that bothers you, you might not particularly like this trail, but you will like the cave at the top it's quite impressive and amazing um when you enter it you kind of you will be seeing these two rock formations as you kind of zigzag your way up the hill um and basically you're going to end up going up behind them and then the the cave will be kind of behind and below one of the formations I, I don't know if that's the right way to describe it but we went uh, on top of the kind of on top of the cave then walked a little bit behind it and then you walk down to get inside of it there's one entrance to the cave from the trail and you'll see like two like large entrances from say the cliff part of the cave and there's also uh, a skylight in there which is kind of neat and it's kind of like two rooms in there it's quite big actually I didn't expect it to be so big from the pictures I saw but it's quite big um, it's quite beautiful, and beautiful scenery, and it's just amazing. If you are afraid of heights, you might feel it once you're up there. Um, I didn't feel the height so much, mostly because of the gradual incline. But yes, if you're in the cave and you kind of go a little bit closer to the edge, you'll definitely feel that, that steepness and, and the height. Um, but this trail is well worth it. I really recommend it. And as far as the trail conditions on the day we went, um, it was quite a mild day, around 50 degrees, 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it wasn't snowing or raining. It was very sunny and pleasant. So um, when we started the trail around 2 o'clock, the sun was like, you know, shining in, into the trail area. So it was quite warm, um, although, you know, there was a very cool breeze because it is winter time. So we had our hats and mittens and gloves on. But as we're going up the incline, of course, you, you know, you, you, it, you do exert some you know, amount of effort. So, uh, got hot and took off those things. Um, but on the way down, it was definitely helpful to have those because it got cooler, um, closer to 5 PM, um, sunset around 5:36. So, um, it does help to have those things with you on the way down. And the trail was also, um, snow covered, snow packed, slushy, icy, and muddy in sections. And we had micro spikes, which helped out a lot. So again, I highly re recommend this trail. Uh, I'd like to hear your experiences about this trail. And I'm going to link up another video to some of the pictures and videos I took on the trail itself. So thanks for listening and hope you enjoy the rest and share your experiences with me. See you in the next video.